What is up my young engineers? I hope everybody's doing well and today we're going to talk about different types of roles in software sales industry and especially for you as young engineers so that you can grow your career to be in sales because this is one of the rewarding career in the IT industry. So let's dive into it. Before we get into it, so if you're new to my channel, I humbly welcome you. Thanks for tuning in. And if you did not hit the subscribe button yet, please do it now because if you don't do it, you'll be missing a lot of good content just like this one that I will be keep publishing on a regular basis. All right, so software sales or software as a service sales, because when we say software sales, it's kind of a legacy term because, you know, the whole model of software sales has changed dramatically in the last you know 10 years because in back in the days when we used to sell software it was sold as a perpetual license basis so the customer purchased the license they own the license in its entirety now when we sell software it is sold as a service whether it is infrastructure as a service or security as a service or application as a service or networking as a service so you can name it so everything has become a subscription service and you purchase a subscription for maybe 12 months minimum term or three years minimum term and then you renew it you know as you use it some companies are coming up with even more innovative ideas where they're just selling it as a pay-as-you-go model so you you pay for your service for as long as you want and you can terminate it whenever you want So what kind of roles are available in software as a service sales? I covered, you know, sales engineering role in my previous video. So if you have not watched it, click here and you will see exactly how you as a technical engineer can grow your career to be in sales, starting with an SC job or sales engineering job, which is one of the very fundamental roles that if you want to step into sales from a technical role. So there are three types of role that typically exist in the industry. Number one is SDR or BDR. You call it business development representative or sales representative. Um, and they're typically early in career roles. So if you uh, are going to join a company and you're coming just freshly from the college or university, then this kind of role are typically suited for you guys so that you can start your career in sales. A lot of you know high tech companies they run internal training programs which can span you know from 18 to 24 months period and they basically hire young graduates and get them through the entire program to train them not only on their products and services but also about their company policies culture internal programs so that when they come out of those programs they are ready to hit the road and start selling their services and products. For example, Cisco System where I work, they have a very well-defined program called CSAP. And they typically hire young engineers from college and universities. They enroll them into this program. And by the end of this program, when they graduated, they're fully trained sales professional who can go out and start selling Cisco's products and services to the business customers. Now, if you are an experienced professional, have been in the industry for so long, and you want to pivot your career into sales, how would you do that? Well, one of the options is to become an SE first, grow your career being an SE, and then you move into sales. But that is not a necessary step. A lot of people I have seen, they have jumped into sales job directly, and they were successful as well. So there are two main type of roles that exist in the industry. Number one is account manager right and the number two is account executive or a sales rep what is the difference between the two well the sales rep or an account executive is 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 a hunter that person's job is to go out and hunt for new opportunities look for new prospect look for new business you know looking for you know think about different ideas how they can generate new business and new, new revenue for the company and then start you know, developing the process from prospecting all the way to closing the deal, okay? Um, versus the account manager is basically a relationship kind of person. That person, uh, when they acquire an account, that account has already, be, already been won. The product has already been sold. Um, and their job is to basically harness the relationship in, 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 and look for uh, different, you know, ideas in terms of how they can grow the existing business. It could be an ongoing business that they have and they want to renew this uh, subscription 
and you know the person can upsell uh, that, that product or that person can cross sell other products to the same customer and increasing the net new revenue coming from that account. So in other words, an account manager is a farmer. His job or her job is to make sure the customer is happy all the time and keep the relationship you know, strong and happy and open um, and then and growing from that point onwards. Now from compensation perspective, it's, it's one of the rewarding roles in the industry. Um, if you look at almost every uh, sales role is a sales quota camp role, which means your compensation plan or your salary is divided into two parts. Number one is the basic pay, which is a fixed portion of your salary. And then number two is the variable pay, which is based upon your business. So the more business you deliver, the, most, the more deals you deliver, you get paid based upon that. And if you hit your target, then you get you know, accelerators or multipliers that will basically increase your, uh, your salary or compensation significantly. So it's very rewarding goal. There's a little bit of difference between an SE compensation and a sales compensation because an SE typically do not own the responsibility of delivering the business. Rather, he or she is in a supporting role. They are indirectly related to the business because they are the one bringing the technical expertise in terms of convincing the customer, showing the demonstration of the product and linking that product to the business case. Whereas the sales guy, he's, he or she is the person responsible to close the deal. So from ownership perspective, the account manager or the account rep or executive has a responsibility to close the deal. Whereas the SE is in a supporting role, supporting the account manager and the account rep to deliver the uh, technical demonstration, technical workshops, convincing the customer in terms of how the product works technically, and then helping them to close the deal. Now from from skill set perspective, you know, if you're in software sales or IT sales, you gotta have some sort of a technical background, right? That's a given. That's a foundation of any role in software industry. Uh, but I've seen, you know, a lot of sales guys in IT sales. They were not non-technical completely, but still be able to deliver results. So it's not a hard and fast role, but it is recommended for sure. Uh, but you have to be an extremely social person. That means you have to be outgoing, meeting people, connecting with people, building relationships. That is one of the fundamental uh, skill set uh, that a sales guy should have. Number two is you have to be an excellent communicator. You have to be an excellent storyteller. You have to be able to tell the story and connect your product and services to the customer emotions. This is where uh, a lot of you know sales guys struggle because you know if you're not very uh, outgoing, if you're introvert, then it's very hard for you to you know succeed in a sales world because that requires a lot of engagement, interaction, relationship, trust building um, process with your customers and prospect, and it takes a lot of time and effort to do that. So my young engineer friends, if you think you have these kinds of a skill set, I know you are technically very strong, but if you know how to communicate well, if you know how to tell a story, if you know how to connect with customer emotions and you can analyze the entire customer account and connect your businesses, your product and services to their timelines and their buying cycle. Well, I think this is one of the career that you can further pivot into and have a rewarding future going forward. That's it for me, guys. I hope you like it. If you do, give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so that you can watch my future videos that I will be publishing on a regular basis. So until my next video, take care.